So there's no better place to build a lithium business than South Arkansas. El Dorado, a city named for mythical golden roads, became a boomtown for the liquid gold beneath it. But the oil business is drying up. With the oil industry being what it is and, and chemical industry, and we've done that for so many years, uh, diversity is great. Diversity is more like a necessity. What is commercial operation? Hello. Hello. Hey, Gabby. Luckily, necessity is the mother of invention. To power all the batteries in America's future, we're going to need lithium. Millions of tons of it. Right now, we make less than 5,000 tons in this country. But just like the discovery of oil in this place about 100 years ago, the answer might be a couple of miles below our feet in South Arkansas. The trick is getting it out. Arkansas sits on one of the world's largest lithium resources. And that's why Canadian entrepreneur Robert Mintak and his standard lithium team are staking a claim here. The smackover formation that sits, with it sits underneath us 6,000, 7,000 feet deep goes across a thousand mile strike range. That's big, bigger than the West Texas oil patch called the Permian Basin. But right now, the way the major lithium producers in Australia or South America get it is through mining. Well, we can't dig that much in America. Good thing Mintac isn't a miner. His partner, Andy Robinson, has a PhD in geoscience. They're using chemistry and tapping into a petrochemical resource that's been here for 60 years. So we take the brine, the, the, the mineral-rich solution, after Langston's to take the bromine out, it goes into these two reactors. The same smackover formation that made Murphy Oil also yields bromine. And German chemical company called Lanxis has been wringing it from the salty brine water flowing underground for six decades. Standard Lithium is doing something similar to the brine after Lanxis is done with it. We've developed a process that selectively plucks the lithium ions from the brine. Plucking ions sounds high tech, like rocket science. Rockety sciencey stuff often requires an effort to prove it actually works. So far, so good. We have the final tank, an extremely high purity lithium chloride solution, all in less than eight hours to get to this point. You almost want to hold your phone up to the tank to get some juice, but Mintac says we're only in the first inning when it comes to bringing this kind of lithium production up to scale. But it's the stuff of dreams for local leaders looking for a clean, new chapter for the region. Uh, anytime industry is coming, I think that's amazing, not only for our city, but definitely for our citizens. I hope it, I hope it grows great guns. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope it goes well enough that maybe even a battery manufacturer would like to relocate closer to the source. We, we, need to, we need the jobs here in Union County. Battery makers are already eyeing places in Texas and Tennessee. There's a big workforce in one of those places and car plants in the other. But with a few more innings under their belt, Judge Lofton's battery boomtown dream might not be too far-fetched. We can find a way to extract lithium from that brine in a sustainable 21st century approach in a region where you can actually build a project. In El Dorado, Roly Hoyt, THV 11 News.